Workout number one starts with split jacks, transverse lateral lunge, and hand walkouts with scapular push-ups. A split jack is not like a jumping jack other than the arms. The legs actually go forward and back. Okay, you would do that for the required number of repetitions. A transverse lateral lunge, I want some kind of band or tubing to support my balance. Feet straight ahead, then I go 90 degree step out, the trail leg is straight and flat through the knee. Required number of reps each side. Hand walk out into a scapular push up. Mobility and flexibility in the hamstrings as far down as you can go without bending your knees. If you can touch the floor, great. Palms flush. Get into a push up position, but only move your scapula. Do not bend your elbows. Then walk back and finish off with repeating the required number of repetitions. That's grouping number one. Grouping number two, the three exercises are flat bench press, front squats, and high to low chops. Flat bench press. Simply get yourself onto your back weights to the side of your chest, arc up and down without banging the weights, breathing out against gravity on the way up. Required number of repetitions. And then front squats, where you simply curl the weight. That's the end of a curl feet shoulder width apart, initiate the squat with the hips, down and up. So from a front angle, initiate with the hips, down and up. Cable high to low chops. If you don't have a cable machine, have some kind of tubing or band that's above your head that will allow you to come from just above shoulder height down to the opposite knee. Whenever you come to one direction, the trail heel lifts, whether I'm up or down. We would turn around after the required number of reps and do the other side. That's grouping number two. Grouping number three, bent over rows, deadlifts, and dynamic bridging. Bent over rows, simply Hip hinge with a flat back. Do not round your back. Tuck in your scapula down and in. Don't have the weights too far in front. Rather, they're just in front of your knees, thighs. With an upward motion, draw the arms past the ribs and then straight down. A deadlift can be done two ways. I'd like you to do the way I'm going to show you with stiff legs. Don't bend the knees other than a very soft bend. Palms facing back, dumbbells in front of my upper thighs, hip hinge down. If you can go to just lower shin without bending your knees too much, that's great. If you need to go higher onto the shin, so that means you're not going as low, that's fine too. The last exercise for grouping number three is dynamic bridging. Simply lie on your back. Think of pushing the floor away with the soles of your feet and just not going too slow or too aggressively fast. That's workout number one. Good luck.